there's a major f of going around with activision and treyarch it's just one of those days right we got g tier remasters in the news and the news is actually pretty good my g we also have ps5 stuff we got xbox stuff and there are nine things that i want to share with you so let's go for nine likes on the video and if an alpha chat master like you is new here i cover all the big gaming news so burn the park it subscribe more though but at number nine we have daddy take two and daddy ea in the news and the news is hilarious we're hearing that take two had nearly agreed a one billion dollar deal for like acquisition last year but daddy ea came out they got their schlongs involved and they paid them like 1.2 billion and over twitter detectives would straight up say and in my opinion these are facts okay because a twitter detective says imagine paying 1.2 billion dollars just to kill a studio <laughs> here's the thing my g it's not killing off a studio it's actually implementing surprise mechanics it's it's, it's basically that right listen here my g soon enough you would have to pay a microtransaction in order to tweet stuff like that so don't fly too hard they might cut your wings seriously though daddy Daddy EA is innocent. They just like to add surprise mechanics and that's really about it. Meanwhile, we got Take Two out here. They are doing helicopters with their woolies. I think it would have been much better than Daddy EA because Take Two, they got stable revenue coming in from uh, GTA 5 Online and Star Cards, right? <laughs> At number eight, we got Rainbow Six Siege Flores Operator gameplay. And some of the homies are saying, yo, they actually straight up copied this from Call of Duty where the homie is using RCXD. We have a Twitter expert saying that they literally just gave him an RCXD as an ability. And I wanna know, like, you think he's spitting facts or you think he's capping? But in my expertise, dog, like, anybody can make stuff like that. It's not that Activision or Treyarch hold the rights. They hold the rights of the RCXD, though, if you were to copy that, then yes, you would be copying. But the idea here is uh, not copying. Like, literally, when I was little, I was rolling around you with the remote control cars. They're not copying, my guy. But at number seven, you might remember that last week I was looking to give away a PS5 because Plink reached out to me, and today... We actually have a winner! Playing is a matchmaking app for gamers where you can analyze all your in-game stats and behavior and it will matchmake you with gamers who have the same KD ratio, playtime, age, games, etc. So now let's take a look at who is the winner and Plank actually picked and the winner is Colorbug31169, Big Congo my dude, just uh, hit me up in the private messages, let me know you want the Sony Pony console and you will get that Sony Pony console. But at number 6 we're hearing that Xbox dev boss says that FPS boost will not be possible to implement on all games this new feature was rolled out for six titles this week which is still a good news but it's not really gonna be for all the games right now like they have done this interview and they're saying that for now it's a good upgrade but it's not gonna be for all the games but in the future it's probably gonna come to uh, other titles as well but at number five according to tadex there will be a new ps5 firmware update aka the update it's gonna be coming out mid-march and it's gonna be for the vrr and the ford 120 basically like 4k 120 fps support and other stuff is not clear yet at number four we got some massive news and first off i gotta say this take this with 20 kilos of salt don't let your dogs out you probably only have one dog so take care of your dogs don't let them out right but here's the thing i want to go through all the leaks that are happening i want to go through the stuff that we know officially from take two because recently during their investor call there was an investor who was like yo are we gonna see gta 4 remaster in the future and he was like the future announcements are gonna come from rockstar games he never denied it he never said yes and you know what nine out of ten times whenever you don't get a straight answer it just means that it's happening okay that's the way it works the real question is that when are we gonna see it and that's the thing that we're not sure about and the rumors are saying grand theft auto playstation 2 trilogy remake rumors grow after more leaker hints and after hearing take two response i am 100 convinced that we're gonna get it eventually but uh, not sure when exactly and test fun too he's a credible leaker in the gta community he recently had that gta trilogy as his header right doesn't mean much but obviously if you have been following the news if you have been keeping up on the gta forums website there has been a lot of leakers that are hinting at the gta trilogy and just recently at number three we're also hearing this from test fun and this actually just happened where he says i remember the reverse engineer gta 3 and y city project with fan created source code take two has taken it down not really surprising since it hit mainstream media only a few days ago this is not really a shocker my g because take two actually like doing that and maybe the the big maybe in the situation here is that 
maybe they have done it because they got GTA remasters coming out. So they do not want like to waste their money as well because that's what it comes down to. Because if people start making remix of their games, there will be some people that will not buy their official remix, okay? And then they will lose money and they love money, right? They do not want to lose the money, which is absolutely understandable. So really though, don't fire dopamine prematurely, but stuff is actually happening behind the scenes and I really hope that this is true. And the theory here is that Ruffian Games is working on the remasters and take two rockstar they acquired them back in 2019 they have a very good record of remastering games so i mean it is kind of sus right this has been going on since like late 2019 and obviously the, the rumors the leaks the, the theories have been all around ever since rockstar and take two hired them because they mostly only work on remasters so time will tell us for sure at number two we have a massive f up by activision and treyarch and there's a reddit guy okay he says that there is a bug with the paid bullfrog skin Violator. You can see the iron sights are misaligned when ADS. Please let Activision see this because they currently do not have a live chat support. Imagine they really had a live chat support, my guy. Like their their live chat would have been flooded with skill based matching and questions and people saying, yo, remove skill based matching and all that. And I think genuinely they're not gonna have a live chat anytime soon because of that reason alone. And really though, like the homie was done dirty it's like you're paying to actually lose in the game it's not pay to win anymore right and really though i don't want to judge anybody there are a thousand things that i'm personally bad at as well the thing here is that like if you're buying microtransactions from uh, from like activision you deserve that dog like the, the thing here is that you cannot blame activision they, they're a business after all they're gonna be deploying microtransactions and the reason i'm saying you cannot blame them here is because obviously the microtransactions are clearly not pay to win they are clearly pay to lose and on top of that, the microtransactions are optional. Those are skins. Those are not weapons. Those are not DLC weapons. The, the battle pass situation is a little bit different, right? Like you can pay $10 and you're going to get some content out of it. You're going to get Call of Duty points out of it. So you can save them and buy a future battle pass for free. That's a nice little hack for you. But the thing here is that they know that people, most people, okay? Not everybody, not you chads, but most people will get those Call of Duty points. They will see something shiny in the microtransaction shop and they will use those uh, points and once they run out of points it would be too late because they would be already addicted to the system and then they would use their credit card or they will ask their mommy and daddy uh, for their credit card so they can actually empty out their bank account and make activision rich right and activision is not to blame here man obviously they are to blame for this situation where you know like this is actually the, the man was done dirty he bought the microtransaction and he couldn't even shoot properly in this regards yes but really think about it if you were, were to invest in activision stock or anyone else's stock right the chances are you're gonna make a profit back but if you buy microtransaction transactions and call of duty number one the stats will not carry over to the next call of duty the microtransactions on top will not carry over to the next call of duty it's just that you bought it and then bam you just lost money you're gonna see a spike in dopamine and all of a sudden bam you're gonna get that dopamine crash and it's gonna be hard to recover from that and the only way you're gonna recover from that is by buying another microtransaction but it's a cycle right like spike and bam crash that's essentially what's up but at number one we're also hearing that season two update size is gonna be around 10.5 gigs to 12 gigs treat this as a rumor right because obviously nowadays they like to ease us in with the first update and the first update is usually like small and then bam you get hit with a secondary update that is usually like 50 million gigabytes but if this is really true and if this is the only update we're gonna get 12 gigs hey compared to the updates that we have gotten last year it's not a huge update let me keep a buck 50 but hit that subscribe bell i will keep a chat master like you in the loops check out this video on the screen you're gonna get a kick of dopamine and i will see you right there